Team Exercise 24 Crossing the Line During this exercise the team will stand in a circle at equal distances from each other. The trainer discusses with the team based on what subjects they like to get to know each other better. For example, self-confidence, religion or a more light-hearted theme like what hobbies do you practice when you're not at work? The team moves to one side of the room and the trainer makes a line in the center with tape. The trainer explains to the team that questions will be asked and that participants that agree or can identify with the questions may cross the line and walk to the other side of the room. The questions will start light-hearted and informal to make the team get used to the exercise. Step by step the questions will gradually get more personal. It's very important in this exercise that everyone listens very closely to what everyone has to say and fully respect each other. The first question is, I often watch television series at home. A couple of participants cross the line. Ask a few of these participants what kind of series they watch and what they do and don't like about them. The participants may walk back to the other side of the room. Now you ask a new question to the group, for example, who practices a religion? The participants that practice a religion now cross the line. Ask these participants if they would like to tell anyone about their religion before others ask them any questions. Emphasize the fact that no one is obliged to answer any questions if they don't want to. Ask participants who are willing to answer questions to raise their hand. Participants who did not cross the line may now ask questions to the ones that did. If someone has a question for someone who is willing to answer it, he raises his hand. Select one participant to ask a question and let someone on the other side of the line answer the question. After having exchanged questions and answers, the participants on the other side of the line may join the rest of the group again. After a couple of questions, the questions can get a bit more personal. An example for when the group is familiar with the exercise is cross the line if you doubt yourself sometimes. It's very likely people won't cross the line immediately since the question is quite personal. It's important to be patient before asking the participants that cross the line questions. When the questions are more personal, some people need more time before they cross the line. A few participants cross the line. Ask them if they would like to explain why they cross the line. The participants that are willing to do so raise their hand. The trainer chooses a person who will explain why he crossed the line. The participant says, I sometimes doubt myself if I do well at work. I also get tense about the fact that other people might do a better job than me. Ask the participants on the other side of the line if they would like to ask any questions to the people that cross the line. These people raise their hands. The trainer picks one to first ask his question. This first person asks, I got a question for Margaret. What could we do as a team for you to make you feel more confident about yourself at work? Let this merge into a safe dialogue that works towards the solution. Let the group continuously ask questions until you get the feeling you can move on to the next subject or theme. The team will get to know each other better and a good atmosphere will be achieved. The trainer guides the team during the exercise and brings variations. What kind of variations you can read below this video on YouTube. And please subscribe to our channel to see a new team exercise each Sunday on youtube.com slash team exercises to improve cooperation and communication.